Students are fully engaged in their inquiry about the moon. They select an area of interest to explore and then pursue that topic in a way that works for them. Their curiosity is nurtured and their information skills are developed in an authentic way that builds self-confidence. Plenty of time for talk and reflection helps these students become metacognitively aware. As they reflect and talk about their learning, they learn from each other and build new understandings and knowledge. I like working with your friends and gathering information from different places, from books, the computers, to internet. We're going to do a research graph and like the El Nino effect. But then we, res we were researching the El Nino effect. We found all this good other websites that were beside the El Nino. And then we looked at um, like what's the temperature of the moon and it can go up to like 150 degrees and the different types of temperatures of stars it can go up to 9,000 degrees. And there's so many different things. When it, it's, ju it's just like you said, it goes from a seed to a watermelon, but from this case, a watermelon to a bigger watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Ben both found out all the days of when there's a full moon in each month. And like, we also got like how many times it was out. And I also, we also got all the like faces. There's eight faces, including the new moon. And the new moon, you can usually see the outside of the circle, but you, if you don't see the whole thing. So you found out a whole lot of information just by wanting to know about how, why the moon looks different each time we go out and look at it. Yeah. So where did you get all your information from? We got it from the computer and um, the website, um, the information on the moon for kids slash time. Okay. And it, had, it has all the things, it has information on the moon and how many people have walked on it and all this different information. You're learning more and more and more from each other all the time. So we're all learning about the same thing, but different parts. And in different ways, too, right? Like Jillian is is doing painting. Where is Jillian? Oops, there she is. <laughs> You're doing paintings to show asteroids and meteors? Yep. Right? And someone else is creating an anthology book of poems. Someone else is writing a nonfiction book. Someone's making a poster, and yet you're all learning from each other as well. What do you think you'd want to tell yeah, other okay. kids about why you like learning this way? Okay. You never stop it. You're always learning new things about the same thing. You're okay. You're always learning new things because why? It's because there's so many different things to explore. Like, you know how we're doing an inquiry ink, ink, project? but we're all doing different parts and in different ways. Mm -hmm. There's so many different things just in one idea because we started out on the moon journals and then we got all these treasure words and then we got all these action plans and it grows. It just grows and grows, doesn't it? It started off so small with our moon journal and then suddenly we started getting all these questions that we wanted to explore in different ways. I like the um, inquiry because, um, because I just learn a lot and I like, um, I mostly like working with other people, um, and I like being curious. Well, one of our success criteria is that I can ask deep thinking questions to get more information. And you guys are doing that. You're asking these deep questions. But what's the difference between asking a deep question and something that's just on the surface. It's a difference. Good. Carter, what do you think? People think more about the deep questions than the like not so deep questions because it's harder to like figure out the answer and it's more interesting than some of the other ones. You don't all give us the same project. We'll 
and we all go off and do that project. We're all doing the same project, but different things in that project. Once I see what I did in my drawing, I just sort of start writing about it because I get more ideas from there. You can't just jump out to the idea because if you're, because you want, because we're all writers here, right? Right, and we are. You can't just jump out and say, oh, I'm going to be a writer and then go to your desk. can't write anything. You really have to think about your one idea, think how it's going to go, you have to plan it out.